Real quick, I just want to show you something that you might miss inside of phrase when you're looking for an idea of what to write about. In this case, let me just start with just saying that maybe my overall kind of idea of what I want to write about is where to eat in Tokyo. And I'm trying to look for some more ideas that are similar or related to it. And here I am in phrase and I've already created a new document based off of where to eat in Tokyo. And here in the overview tab is the standard where you would go to study more about this topic before you write about it. Um, and then you have the topic score where you would see the different keywords that you need to focus on and questions that is, you know, something that you could look at that would be pretty decent. These are appear to be questions that are kind of pulled from the content maybe um, that it's found uh, in the SERP results. Um, I guess they have people also ask here. Oh, and it shows no questions found. Okay, so you have related that would also show some additional sources, but if you're looking for some ideas to write about, um, it's a little bit hidden inside of a phrase here, but if you go to the topic score, find sort of a broad keyword that you kind of want to focus on. Let's just say that, you know, food, right? It's food in Japan. So let's see. So these, this, when you click on it once, it, it'll show you some of the SERP mentions and co-occurrences. Related topics is what you want to click on. Here you get a list of questions and such that it's found based on sort of the overall broad keyword and apparently in some sort of match with your primary term. So you can take some of these and if you want to start like a little outline of sorts, you can click on these to uh, paste them in, right? So let's see, what is Tokyo's most famous food? Uh, let's hit enter here. Where should I eat in Tokyo? And let's just do like a real quick. Uh, what, what, what must eat in Tokyo? Where should I? Eat? These are all very, very similar things, right? Let's, let's pick something else. Let's see, um, what is, here we go. What is Monja in Japanese? And okay. And let's see if we can maybe look at it. Maybe let's see sushi. Let's see if there's anything under here. And it's, it's phrase is going to do some research, trying to find some of those related topics based on see, on sushi. All right, here we go. Uh, what kind of sushi do they eat in Japan? How many sushi? Is sushi cheaper in Japan? Okay, let's just go with that one. Oops. Let's undo that. Make sure you're in the right place with your cursor here. And then click. Okay. So now um, let's take this over into shortly and see what kind of magic we can do here. Um, hmm. I don't want to leave. Okay, so oh, we got some Grammarly playing around with us here, so let's take turn that off for now. Okay, so here we are in shortly. Let's just see uh, first if we can do some voodoo here. Let's take this. I'm just going to make a copy of it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the expand command on this to see if I can get some more context. Mm-hmm, that's excellent. Okay, so now... Uh, I'm here, and if you recall from the context video, you know that the way that context works in shortly is anything that's in the article brief, the title, and from the cursor up is what's counted towards you know the AI returning something for you. So if I'm right here, click here, it's going to take all of this plus these two things and send that over to the open AI so that it can generate some text for me. So right here, um, let's see, Tokyo's the hub. There are also sushi restaurants where you can treat yourself to high quality fish at a price. The most fantastic uh, places to. Uh, actually, let's just say the most famous uh, food in Tokyo is. And then just let's let's let the AI write. This is what I like to call the dance with the AI. Like you dance with it, you write it writes. Uh, oh, here we go. Yep. Okay. So we got some decent content. The idea here is it's a good start to the article, or to at least to this section, and uh, I'm going to move on. Let me go down here. I don't want where should I eat in Tokyo being disrupted by uh, what is above it, so I'm going to use the triple slash command that cuts off the context, and I'm going to copy this again, paste. Let's do and expand on that. It's funny that it says that because it sounds like what it's saying. You play, best place to eat in Tokyo is a museum. Um, yeah, there actually is stuff there, but I'm gonna go ahead and 
rewrite here. So that would be command uh, backslash to let it rerun the command. Nope, not cool. Let's do it again. And if you think about it right now, there's not a lot of context for it to work with. So <laughs> follow this map. All right, so here, let's undo this. Um, where should I eat in Tokyo? Uh, uh, as if I'm looking for, let's say something quick and cheap. All right, there's a little bit more context in this now. We should be able to take this and expand it and get back something a little bit better. Yeah, there is a bunch of stuff inside of there. Okay, so now we've got some more context to work with. Um, let's go ahead and let the AI continue this this thought here, the, and then let it continue. So one of the powers of GPT-3 is it's designed to finish sentences and to finish, so almost like you can just think of it as finishing your thought. So let it finish your thought sometimes. Okay, so here we go. We got we got some enough decent uh, content here. I'm gonna mark this as basically being a heading to uh, this one is being a heading to. It doesn't mean anything inside of shortly, but if you take a, this is called markdown, and if you use this in your content here, um, when you paste it into WordPress or something, it'll take that and uh, run with it and uh, do all the formatting and stuff for you. So, what is monja in Japanese? Well, wait, we don't want, uh, there's not a lot of context here, but let's just see what happens. Uh, remember, triple slashes so that the stuff above this doesn't cause any kind of an issue with the context. Then we run expand on this. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about, well, yeah, uh, we should say Monjayaki here. Let's say Monjayaki just because, uh, and basically this article is referring to food, not that. So let's do this again. Now, I'm just trying to sort of stick with this here just to show you kind of what the what the dance kind of looks like sometimes. And, and this is actually really lightly dancing, right? Most of it is, uh, yeah, that's very good. And I'm gonna let that continue. Um, basically, the dance should be more where I write more than this and participate in the article, uh, more so than just letting it write so much. And, uh, you know, that's a pretty good start. So I'll let it, I'll, I'll just leave that there, come back down here and make a cut. And is sushi cheaper in Japan? Probably, if you've, uh, it seems to me that restaurants in, in America are very, very expensive when you think of sushi. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so it's a good start. Again, let it write some more. Now what you would do is sort of think about some of the topical words that you need to make sure that you're hitting and in your article, which you would get from phrase when you're back here. Um, you know, you've got some some topic scores and stuff to think about. Now, the, the term that we're targeting right here is where to eat in Tokyo. So, you know, in some ways, these could almost be their own standalone articles. I'm just showing this as just an example of how to quickly kind of roughly create an outline and run with it based off of um, coming up with ideas just using the related, uh, what do you, I guess the, the related sub tab underneath of some of these keywords. Uh, if you're stuck in a rut, can't think of what you want to write about, phrase can help you kind of come up with something quick, throw it into an outline, kind of study it, make sure you go over here to the top results, study up on the content so you know exactly what you're writing about, come over here into shortly and begin. Now you notice I didn't put anything in the title or anything in the article brief, I just ran with what was here. Uh, it's a little bit um, risky in, in a way, I guess if it doesn't really give the AI a whole lot to work with. The slash expand command does a pretty darn good job, as you saw, of taking something that's very minimal and kind of giving it a little bit more, you know, blowing it up a little bit so that you have more context to work with after that to continue the conversation with your AI assistant, so to speak. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you here. In a, in a nutshell, if you want to continue to learn more about how to use these tools together to come up with some efficient processes, 
please go to the AI Content Dojo at AIContentDojo.com. You can sign up with your email address. I don't do any spam. It's just anytime there's something new for me to share, uh, like I create a new guide like this or a new video, I just send an email to you letting you know that it's there for you to check out and learn from. And inside of the dojo, I really just kind of cover a few of the steps, you know, from brainstorming to research to writing all the way through to publishing and promoting your content. Anywhere where I, we, I can fit in AI uh, assistance to make it faster or better, that's what I do. So until I see you next time, take care.